Okay, uh, we are back. You, of course, know my next guest from The English Patient, The Last Temptation of Christ, and from his Oscar-nominated performance in Platoon. Starting next Friday, you can see him in the brand-new movie American Psycho. Let's take a look. Had his apartment been burglarized? No, actually, it hadn't. Toiletries were missing, a suit was gone, so was some luggage, that's it. I mean, no one's dealing with the homicide squad yet or anything, right? No, not yet. As I said, we're not sure. Basically, no one's seen or heard anything. So typical, isn't it? It's just strange. One day someone's walking around, going to work, alive, and then... Nothing. People just disappear. The earth just opens up and swallows them. Eerie. Really eerie. Please welcome Wonderful! <laughs> Thanks a lot. Yeah. You know, it's funny because I, I was just noticing in, uh, I mean, I've noticed it a million times in your performances and in that clip there, you have such an in you're a very intimidating look. I'm sure you've heard that before. Mm -hmm. You know, you're just, you, you're, you, you just have this, <laughs> well, not now, now you're going. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. So you have a timid look and you're like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I kind of do. <laughs> I mean, serious. I mean, like, and, and, and I think for that reason, people gravitate towards giving you these, these intense roles, don't it's you think? It's true. It's true. Yeah. Do you ever think... <laughs> you're not doing it now! <laughs> I, I'm seeing now that in real life, you're kind of a goofy, you know. You're like, okay, we're ready to go, and action, and then you're just like... Mm. <laughs> do you ever think, did you, do you ever, is there a part of you that wants to do a, uh, you know, uh, a really silly comedy, sure. like a Herbie the Love Bug remake? Absolutely. Or a, you know. Absolutely, but uh, because people don't often think of me for it, you know, it's like you've got to bend over backwards to make anyone uh, think you can do it, so sometimes it doesn't quite make sense. Right. And they're, you know, particularly when they're casting movies, they're pretty literal about... He's a funny guy. He's not a funny guy. They aren't uh, real He's intense. Creative. Right. He's exactly. done that before, so let's just, exactly. let's just get him for that. But in the theater, I do stuff that's comic, I think. And, mm -hmm. and also, there's different kinds of comedy. I mean, something like, I don't know whether you remember Wild at Heart, but mm -hmm. that turn as Bobby Perot mm -hmm. is, uh, is it's high comedy. As right, far as right. Concerned. Well, let's talk about your... You have a theater group right. down in Soho, the Wooster Group. Right. And uh, am I pronouncing it right? Yeah. Okay. Just uh, like the street. Just like the street. Okay, you have this, uh, you have this uh, theater group down there, and I've actually seen you around that part of town a lot. Right. I never say hi. I'm very shy, but uh, <laughs> but I've noticed that. I, but, but I've noticed that that's a part of town where there are a lot of clubs, a lot of parties going on, a lot of partiers. Does that does that bother you? Do they ever, you know, when you're walking around your club, is that ever a problem that they're right next to your theater? All no, those clubs. It, it's probably good for the theater. I mean, sometimes it's a little crowded down there, and I've I've been down there for almost 25 years. It's changed a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you get drunk people hanging out at four o'clock in the morning, you know, pissing on your stoop, that sort of thing. Well, <laughs> you're so easygoing about it. <laughs> Occasionally a guy comes to my theater, pisses on the front of it, but what are you going to do? That's why. Have you actually really, have you actually caught someone doing that? Absolutely. I mean, <laughs> one time I remember seeing a guy pissing right on my stoop and I said, hey, what are you doing? And he looked at me, you know making a mess of himself and he said I can't help it <laughs> I'm from New Jersey <laughs> and you know what, you know what? I, I can't figure out whether he was making an excuse because he couldn't hold it until he got home yeah because there are no bathrooms here in the city <laughs> yeah right or New yeah. Jersey just famous for incontinent <laughs> yeah right medical for me. It's on their well, license plate Florida. now. Oh, yeah, what is that? What yeah. Florida. <laughs> the uh, there are, of course, in this city there are a lot of, and especially downtown. There's a, it's it's a serious problem. There are a lot of homeless people walking around, and do you? Some people take. Some people are afraid to talk to them. In this city, actually, I think you're kind of forced to. You know, you have to interact with them, which I think is kind of good. Have you found that to be? Uh, well, true? yeah. There's homeless people down in Soho because I think it's a safe place for them to sleep. No one seems to bother them, and mm -hmm. and actually. Uh, near the theater, uh, I've known, like, I can think of three people in particular that I've seen. They've lived on the street for years, and right. I have a relationship with them, and they give me advice, you know, career advice. and <laughs> Seriously? Health advice, yeah. yeah. I remember one night coming home quite late, and uh, one of these guys says to me, Hey, Will, 
You got to start taking care of yourself, man. <laughs> That, that, you, you gotta know, take that advice. Cardboard box. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> oh. And I'm worried about you. Uh, well, let's, uh, uh, American Psycho, this is a very, uh, it was a very controversial book when it came out. Right. And so it's, it's kind of gutsy to say, okay, I want to be in this film. Because when the book came out, it polarized people. There were people that loved it and there were people that were absolutely incensed by it. Yeah. Were you at all worried about taking on the movie role or not really? Um, no, you know, I've known the director for a little while. Uh, she did a movie called I Shot Andy Warhol. Great film. Um, yeah. It was a great script. Um, I liked the book. Mm -hmm. uh, I was just, you know, happy to be a part of it. I don't have a big role in it, but um, I just like the whole project. So, and, and I think, I like it very much. It's very, uh, very understated. and. Mm -hmm funny and mm -hmm. dark at the same time. Right, it, it blends the two, which is very hard to do, I would imagine. It is. Uh, American Cycle, it opens next Friday, but you can see it sooner at a benefit screening for the Wooster Group here in New York City next Wednesday, right. April 12th, and that's benefiting your theater. Right, and, and also there's a party afterwards um, where John Cale is going to be performing. Oh, that sounds cool. Yeah, yeah. Can I come to that and then piss yeah. on your stoop afterwards? <laughs> It just seems like the thing to do now. <laughs> All right, well, Willem, thank you very much. Okay. Continued success. Right. Willem Dafoe, everybody. No doubt is coming up. We'll be right back. Stick around.